are certain signs of age that have nothing to do with the calendar. When you bend down to tie your shoelace and run out of breath. When your son informs you people no longer do the foxtrot. When your daughter would rather go shopping for clothes than play touch football. And when someone informs you that the Osmonds have been in show business for 25 years now. Having gone to school in the great state of Utah, I realize perhaps more than most the impact this family has had on our national consciousness. We're the Osmonds Brothers Boys Quartet, and we're all tuned up to go, so it's a dry fun. They sang like a miniature barbershop quartet, catching the eye of Andy Williams in the hearts of America. They were the Osmond Brothers. But the Osmond musical talent was discovered unexpectedly. With the two oldest brothers almost totally deaf, parents George and Olive rounded up musical instruments to sharpen their hearing. Soon, the younger boys joined in, and the harmony grew. Music had become part of the Osmond soul. As Donnie, Marie, and Jimmy came into the world, they followed right behind their brother's footsteps. Ladies and gentlemen, Donnie and Marie. By the 60s and 70s, Donnie and Marie were in the spotlight, and Osmond mania was sweeping the world. Today, living in Orem, Utah, they have been in show business 25 years. They're a rare family talent with phenomenal family support. We didn't care who was out front. We backed them up. I guess we did care, as long as their name was Osmond, I guess we didn't care. <laughs> That's the spirit of every member of the family, because we want to do nothing but help each other. The Osmond clan was started by George and Olive. They had become parents of stars. They asked to go in show business, but we didn't push them into show business. I helped them learn the, the music. The father's the one that saw to it that they did the practicing and the routines and kept them in line, so to speak. Obviously, your parents have had a tremendous influence on everyone. If you had to pinpoint one thing that they gave to you. Well, <clears throat> they gave their time and also their love that came with that. They gave us a lot of responsibility and knew that uh, they were expecting so much from us and, and uh, they did it with a lot of love. My father would always be successful in anything he did. I mean, he ran a post office. He was an insurance salesman. He even drove a taxi cab at one time. But whatever he did, he was the best. You know, he wanted to make sure he was the best at whatever he did. Even in driving a taxi cab, he was the best. And that's what he instilled in me. Whatever you do, make sure it's the best. My parents are motivators. They're not pushy parents. They um, always instilled in us a desire to achieve many different things, you know. Could they help me? You people now for Christmas. That motivation to achieve, along with faith in the Mormon religion, created a spirit that remains deep in the soul of the family today. The name Osmond almost seems synonymous with family. How important has the family been to the success of the group? Uh, Todd, if, if I didn't have my family, I certainly wouldn't, wouldn't want to be in this business. I really wouldn't. It, it's a wonderful uh, thing to just be able to lean on your brothers. I've got a never-ending love for you. From now on, that's all I want to do. My brothers are my best friends. I mean, they really are. I know it sounds corny maybe to some people, but I don't care because it's real and it's me and it's... It's honest. I've always felt that together we're strong. And, and the four brothers who got it all started back 25 years ago, or 26 years ago, I guess, whatever it is, uh, have always had a bond of togetherness. I knew there was always going to be someone at home if I failed at something, uh, that they'd be supportive and say, come on, you can do it, go ahead. And I think that gave me a lot of um, strength and determination. The Osmonds have a strong sense of self, which helps them tackle careers on their own. Jimmy is on his own in Los Angeles, pursuing an acting career. Donnie is producing rock videos and working on a new album. Marie is raising her son Stephen while negotiating a new TV series. We almost got a smile out of it. The four brothers are back on stage and in the recording studio as a country music group. I got it. Everywhere you go, 
And the entire family runs the multi-million dollar empire, which includes plans for an Osmond Plaza in Houston, a mail order business, shopping centers, and an entertainment uh, company specializing in all-American stage productions. Relax. Now, the, the show's got to move. You're in a stadium, you've got 100,000 people, so we've got to keep them short and tight, okay? It's a special family with a smile and style that is being passed on to the latest generation of 28 grandchildren who are more than willing to give me a run for my money in the backyard football field. <laughs> yeah, this is real fun. I normally get paid for this. People look at us and they say, why are you so happy? Well, we are happy people. We're not phony. We don't put on anything. We're just who we are. A lot of people say that, uh, that our family is uh, a facade. You know, that, that it's, it's all fake. And it's just to put on. Go ahead and keep thinking that. I know it's real. And uh, that's all that counts. I'm very proud of the way they've handled their lives and their businesses and so forth. They've shown a lot of integrity, and what can you better teach a child than that? The Osmonds are a family steeped in tradition, a tradition that is continuing with Alan's five young sons. The old oak is bucket, the ironclad bucket, the old oak in bucket that hangs in the well. They've been born into a family of famous singers, but if they want to be in show business, they'll have to work for it. But I want them to come up the way I did, and that is putting in their dues. And the price. Oh, they're, if they want it, they'll work hard, and, uh, and they'll, they'll probably be very good.